Hey everyone, in this video we would make a simple paint application using Tinkter. We would use many new methods and a lot would be from the canvas class, obviously as we are working with paint. Don't worry, it would be very easy. So to make this application, we would use the color chooser module and just to make things more organized, I would make main class that would be later called onto the screen. Let's get started. So from Tinkter, import star and separately from Tinkter, import color chooser and TTK. TTK, you'll get the use of it later. Now, the window declare plus its title. So we have win equals TK and for the title, I'll write win.title paint app. Then I'll call onto the main loop. So win.main loop. So I have the basic structure now the class main where i would be defining the functionalities of the paint app so let's get started i'll get the class i'll write class main and first the init function def init for argument self and master so this master is the window that win that would be passed on later to the main class and then i'll write self dot master equals master for initializing the window now i need to initialize a lot of variables to start doodling on screen like the color of my pen its width maybe the screen background the starting position of the pen etc so let's initialize the variables one by one so first is self dot color underscore foreground equals black so the pen color becomes black initially you can change it later and then self dot color underscore background equals white then also the initial positions. So I'll have self dot old underscore x equals none. And similarly, self dot old underscore y equals none. Also the pen width, self dot pen width equals y. I will call this draw widgets function that is yet to be defined which would describe the layout and main functioning of my paint app. So I'll just write self dot draw widget and brackets. You'll just understand why I called this here later on when I define the draw widgets function. Now I'll write self dot c dot bind now here i have started using event handlers the bind function called for the canvas c c would be declared in the draw widgets function now the argument for this event handler bind would be b1 motion which is the mouse being moved while the left mouse button is held down and the function called the other argument of the bind function would be self dot paint this would be another function in the main class and it would be used to draw the lines on the canvas. So I'll write self.c.bind b1 motion self.paint. Okay. Now similarly I'll have another event for the button release. To specify the button release of left mouse button, I'll use button release one event. And for the function of this event, I will call the self reset. It is another function in the main class. I have to declare it. It will indicate the end of one curve drawn. Okay, so I'll write down self dot c dot 
dot bind and button release one plus dot reset four. Now I'll define the paint function. So I'll write def paint self comma e. So e would be the coordinates of the current mouse position. I would fetch that repeatedly in order to draw a curve. And if self dot old underscore x and self dot old underscore y is true, it's if it's available, then I'll create line. I'll use the canvas function create line. And I'll write self dot C dot create line and as argument I'll give in the four points the four coordinates so self dot old x and self dot old y and e dot x and e dot y the current events the current mouse positions x and y coordinates the width of my curve would be given by self dot pen width as I have defined it in the initial function and fill equals self dot color foreground and cap style would be round it's just the style of the curve the line and I can do smooth equals true so we have already used create line in the previous videos and so I hope you don't need any explanation for the arguments given and I'll replace the value of old x with e dot x and self dot old underscore y equals e dot y. This would let me draw a continuous line. And then I'll have the reset function. Again, it's self and e, the current position of the cursor. And I'll have self dot old underscore x equals none. and self dot old underscore y equals none because basically I have ended one curve so that's what reset means now I'll start defining some options available some functionalities available with the paint app now the first one in the functions would be def changed width and I'll give self comma width so this would be used to change the width of the pen, width of the line, and I'll have self dot pen width equals width. Okay, and I have clear canvas, so I'll write def clear canvas self, and I'll use the delete function from canvas self dot c dot delete, and argument would be all. That would just actually clear the canvas completely. I'll also have the functionalities of changing the foreground and the background of the screen. So first for the foreground changing, I'll write def change underscore fg and self. So self dot color underscore fg equals color chooser. dot ask color color equals self dot color underscore fg and one so color chooser dot ask color returns a tuple that contains two values that represents the selected color the one at the zeroth index is the rgb value and the second element of this tuple is the hexadecimal color value and since ask color uses hexadecimal values, I have given the first element of this tuple as the argument. Okay. And similarly, I can define for background color. I'll write def change underscore pg and self and self dot color underscore pg equals color chooser 
dot as color and color equals self color underscore pt and in square brackets one fine also i need to write self dot c pt in inverted commas equals self dot color underscore pt cool now it's the turn of draw widgets function so this would be like the real layout of the frame of the entire canvas of the entire screen so i'll write def draw widgets self and now the screen should have the controls in one part and the canvas on the other so we need to divide the space available for that we use frames so i'll write self dot controls equals frame self dot master i hope you remember the master variable it was the screen itself the window and i'll give some padding i'll write pad x equals 5 pad y equals 5 now on the left side i would need the controls like the pen color the background color let me put these in a menu also the clear canvas and exit option should be available there then to adjust the size of the pen that is the width i would use a slider let's get all this on the screen first so starting with the label of the pen width controller i'll write text pw equals label self dot controls text equals pen width font equals georgia 16. now i got this on the frame and not the window itself please note that and i'll put it in a grid i'll write text pw dot grid row equals zero column equals zero then i'll have the slider i'll write self dot slider equals ttk dot scale this is where ttk is used i'll have a different kind of slider it would not show me the numbers on the scale and so for the argument i'll write self dot controls comma from equals 5 to 100 to equals 100 command is self dot change w so just to recall what change w did it changed the width of the pen it assigned a new value to the pen width and the orientation of the scale of the slider would be vertical fine now i'll set the pen value pen width so i'll write self dot slider dot set in brackets self dot pen width okay now self dot slider dot grid row equals zero column equals one now i'll pack my frame i'll write self dot controls dot pack and side equals left fine now here i'll declare my canvas so self dot c equals canvas self dot master where do i want my canvas on the screen on master so self dot master width equals 500 and height equals 400 background color equals self dot color underscore pt it was there in the init function so that is where from we pick the background color then i'll pack this canvas i'll write self dot c dot pack fill equals both expand equals true we've already worked with canvas and frames and labels a lot of times so i hope you're getting what is going on it's just the assembling of all that we have learned it's nothing difficult and now i need to get the menu so i'll simply have this menu variable equals menu 
self dot master and self dot master dot config menu equals menu and I'll have my option menu to which I'll be adding all the options available so option menu equals menu in brackets menu it's in the menu of the main menu okay I hope it is not confusing now to menu I'll be adding the option menu variable so how would I do that I'll write menu dot add cascade label equals menu menu equals option menu now let's add the options to the option menu so I'll write option menu dot add underscore command label equals brush color command equals self dot change underscore foreground similarly for the other functions I'll write option menu dot add command label equals background color command equals self dot change background then option menu dot add command label equals clear canvas command equals self dot clear again option menu dot add command label equals exit command equals self dot master dot destroy so we have four options one for changing the pen color the foreground one one for the background changing color one for clearing the canvas and one for exiting the canvas okay so we're good to go okay but we need to call in this main class so i'll write main and in brackets win fine now we're good to go and let's run this so i have my window and i can see this menu and pen width so i'll start right away doodling on the screen and i can see the line i've drawn and i can change the brush color i can pick any color let me pick this and i have a different color pen now let me change the width once so it has a better width now the brush is thicker and i can change the background color too so here it is the background color is different again i can clear the canvas everything is gone and if i click on the exit option the screen goes away so the paint application is working pretty much fine this was it for the program thank you